All right. So this is the first major issue I'm having with um, Houdini and Unreal working together. So I wanted to just kind of capture it for myself. Um, so first, try to import the swan a bunch of different ways. I think this was the first one. Yeah. So the very first one, um, there was nothing. <laughs> like, there's no bones. And so it just, it was all stuffed in. Let's see, the second import, I think the mesh came in, and that's what we're looking at here on the screen here is that mesh. Um, the second one came in, and what was I trying to do? Oh yeah, that was the same, the same failure. And then I started messing around with a bunch of different export settings and import settings, and started getting this, where it was pulling them in like separately, in separate pieces, and truly I don't understand what the heck was going on. Like, there's a lot of ways to break this. And you can see here, now it's just not even, it's not even pulling in the models, and like my seventh try, eighth try, and so the ninth try, um, I found a video, um, a guy working with Houdini, and it's funny, when you read online the docs, like, it, it would make you think that you want to use the uh, character output, because you want the the bone skeleton information with the, the mesh information, and when you export those, like, when you export it after the bone deform, that creates issues. So you want to do it before the bone deform. Um, so I do it right after this capture pack to Geo. Uh, and then after we have our skeleton and we've done some manipulations, we pull it out over here. So we have the rig and we have the mesh. Um, and so what I found that works is just the plain ROP FPX output. The GLTF doesn't work. This doesn't work. Um, it creates a bunch of individual meshes and I can't figure out what the heck's wrong with them. Um, so this one at least gets it out and into the engine and this with the skeleton. Um, but the path parameter uh, is the next issue to solve, so I'm not totally out of the woods yet. But um, Some of the things I tried that didn't work um, was right after the simulation. So we do physics simulation animations for the models, and what I'm thinking of doing is actually trying to do this in Unreal instead. So I'm not going to try and do them in Houdini anymore. We'll just shut up the rig, and then we'll see what we can do with Unreal. So this is untested, but it's going to be the direction we try and go in. Um, all of these failed, even this one. Um, it just doesn't bring out the skeleton. It, like it, The skeletal information gets lost um, because it gets used in the sim to uh, set up the physics constraints, but the, the skeleton information itself is lost. So uh, if we do it after the vellum simulation, and we do it way down here, this also does not work. Uh, and that is because uh, at this point we've completely converted it away from the packed geo, and that, that's not going to work. Like if you're doing an FBX export, you have to work with packed geo. So, okay, those are all the verbal notes. Um, the way forward should be to... Uh, this, this came back and bit me. Um, I did not name the paths very well. So you see these this path here whenever we're packing them, uh, this individual geo. Um, we're just using this OP full path, but we have more control over this parameter and we can actually name it something else. But the way that this is set up by hand, like so, um, each one of these little pieces of geo are gonna have to be named. So we have to now come up with that hierarchy. So all these little, little pieces and joints, like, um, are going to need to be going to be named and then joined to a hierarchy. So I'm going to have to. Wait, that's that's the next thing to figure out. And that's about it. Uh, yeah, this is the current hurdle. We'll get over it and then um, try and test out uh, animation blending um, in Houdini uh, in Unreal from Houdini. So.